We get asked all the time, what's our secret sauce? What's that one thing that we have in our business that changes the game for our revenue? Our five-star reviews, our guest happiness, the, our, the owner's happiness. Our peace of mind. Our peace of mind. The, <laughs> the answer, guest experience. The inspector. If you don't have an inspector, stay tuned because we're going to tell you all about how this one role can change the game for you and your business. Wait, Sarah, what do you mean? I already have a cleaner, I have a turnover team. Don't they do everything that an inspector should do? The cleaner is there to clean everyone. And it just, it'll change the game for you if you let them do the job that you hired them to do. Mm -hmm. They are not your safety inspectors. They are not inventory specialists. They are there to do one job and one very tough job. So if we can let them live in the space that they are meant to live in, you're gonna have, and we're gonna go over all of this, but your guest expectations, your phone during the guest day is going to ring less, buzz less, because they're gonna check in and be super happy. Professional cleaners, they're the backbone of our, our business, right? Like we need to have clean spaces for our guests, but guess what? We're not just offering clean spaces. We are offering so much more with short-term rentals. And I want you to put yourself in your cleaner shoes. When they walk in, they've got a mountain to get to the top of. And so if we can help them with another layer of trust but verify, have an inspector come in with, clear, with a clear vision and um, a different checklist to, to tackle, your guest experience is gonna go from, uh, I guess I'll give them a five star, to glowing reviews. We've all got those messages. Hey, my door code isn't working. The smart TV isn't connecting. The Wi-Fi's down. Wait, where's the wine key? I think it's missing. There's not enough creamer for the coffee. Wait, there's only two towels. Do any of those messages sound like something that the cleaner should be responsible for? You're right, no, they shouldn't. Those are the details that your inspector should be checking. With every inspection, we always bring with us a checklist. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, no, I know my property, like the back of my hand. I know exactly what I need to look for. But I'm telling you, especially if you're, if you're juggling hosting with another full-time job, with family, other properties, you need that checklist to be your guiding star. You can't tell me you haven't had a guest check and you go, oh my gosh, did I empty the dishwasher? <laughs> did I remember to put more creamers in the refrigerator? Wait, did I leave out the bath mat? Is there enough toilet paper, enough paper towels? It happens to the best of us. You have to have a checklist. And not only that, if you can have an app that takes photos and tracks the time that you were there, this is key when it comes to any sort of liability and safety with your rental. Or the app has pictures of the way you wanna make sure it looks, right? So let's say you're going on vacation and you hand off the inspection process to a friend or family member, or you hire someone to do this, this exact position for you, they can know exactly what to look like. You're not assuming that they know what you want out of it, you are showing them. So there's just so many benefits to having an app. Our app is Breezeway. We've been using them for years. We love them and it, it works. Honestly, our, our guest experience is through the roof and our team happiness is through the, everything's great when you use a checklist to keep everyone on track. For us, it's four components. It's property specific checklists, so not every property needs the same things checked. Right, not everyone has a hot tub or a pool or exterior or a parking. game room yeah. or you know, a golf thing, simulation system, like, I don't, you know, like whatever it is that makes your, your rental special. Then you have exterior, so things to look for in the exterior, things to look for, for on the interior, and then I added a list to it, which is like the before you leave list, like just make sure. Double, triple, triple quadruple check, check. This stuff is good to go. Okay, so if I took you through the entire inspection process, this might be a little bit longer of a YouTube video than you're wanting to watch right now. So we're gonna go through the highlight reel. Now, when you get it really dialed in and you've got someone on your team who knows what you're looking for, or if it's you doing your own inspections, this doesn't have to be this long, drawn out process. It's gonna take tons of time. But again, stick to your checklist. I'm in year, I don't know, I've been doing this since 2010. I'm still using checklists to make sure that I am doing the things that I, I need myself to do. But so first we said the cleaners are not part of your safety inspection, right? Because they're not. And here's the things that we look for when it comes to safety. Making sure the smoke detectors are operational. We press the test button every single time. And we also make sure that our uh, fire extinguisher hasn't been used. And just because it's hanging back up on the wall does not mean it, it just don't assume. All right. It can tell you if it's, if it's been used or not. Always check. All right. Next on my list is the kitchen. And there are some Kitchen items, I just wanna make sure that we've got dialed in and I'm just gonna say it, the number one thing guests ask for or get upset if they can't find is a wine key, a wine opener. And so I'm gonna make sure when I open up the drawer that the drawer is not only incredibly organized, but that I've got 
a way for guests to open up wine, open up beer bottles. They're here to enjoy themselves. So if they're gonna imbibe, they need a way to do it. All right, what else is on here? We wanna make sure that their coffee fix is dialed in too. So while it is on our cleaners to-do list to stock the coffee, I'm gonna make sure that when they're also dealing with, you know, a stain on the duvet that they just couldn't get out, I'm gonna do them a solid and make sure the coffee offerings are dialed in. We've got sugar, we've got to-go cups, we've got, you know, whatever it is that you offer in your coffee station, just make sure it's dialed in. Um, other things that we might look for are, is the new sponge there? Is the kitchen towel there? Is the microwave and oven clean? Are the times correct? Uh, do they have extra amenities? You know how Annette feels about leaving them enough garbage bags and, and paper towels. And if you have a certain number of things, you can just look under the, ca the cabinet really quick and just make sure all those things are there. Next up, we'll move into the bedroom. This one's a little bit more straightforward because obviously we can just look at the bed and see, is this how you want your bed made? Is this how you like it? Is it guest ready? Again, those cleaners, they are, they're trying to get your place clean. They don't always have time to make sure that everything is picture perfect. So things that we're looking for is to make sure the side lamps and TVs are plugged in. You don't want your guests having to move furniture to make sure things are plugged in. Open and inspect all drawers. We have personally found firearms hidden underneath mattresses in drawers because guests bring them and they accidentally leave them how I don't know. Um, check in the closets, make sure they're clean. The guests didn't leave anything in, that the hangers are staged the way you want them staged. We like to make sure the vacuum is cleaned out. We don't like our guests feeling like they are in a used space, so we even clean out the vacuum canister. Um, and of course, you wanna make sure, one last look, there's no hair on the bed. Did the vent blow a piece of hair after the cleaners left? We never wanna leave that to chance. You don't wanna get that text, that phone call with, hey, I don't think you left us anything other than one roll of toilet paper. Annette and I feel very strongly about leaving your guests some extra toilet paper, okay? So having that count, we always leave three under the sink. Unless they're staying longer, we might throw them a few more. Make sure that's there. We like to make sure that our soap bottles are full and that the nozzles are facing forward, that we, they have that staging presentation and get, the guest knows that, hey, we're gonna enwrap this whole apartment, this whole home for you like a gift and make sure that you feel like it's brand new and just for you. Is there a hand towel? There's no bath mat in here, so this wouldn't pass inspection. If the cleaners forgot it, it's not a big deal. We've got an extra layer of checking to make sure that everything's dialed in. Behind this door, we've got some amenities like hairspray and um, hygiene products and cotton balls and Q-tips. So I wanna make sure all those are dialed in because that sets apart from the rest of the rentals in our area. But having a bathroom checklist, the first aid kit we keep underneath the sink there. And I don't just look to make sure it's in there, but I'm gonna open it up and make sure I've got Band-Aids, I've got antiseptic whatever, things that you can actually tend to a wound for. Make sure that it's full and stocked and ready for guests to use. When it comes to living room, there are essential things that you can check. Number one, if you offer any sort of streaming service, we log into Netflix for our guests. We wanna make sure they're logged into the right Netflix. So I will turn this TV on, I will make sure Netflix loads, and I'll make sure it's our account. That not only makes us, lets us know that we are in our Netflix account, but also that the Wi-Fi is working. So that's always good to check too. We always make sure that the remote is there, there's batteries in it, our welcome book, and not just looking at the welcome book, but our checklist has us go into the welcome book, make sure the pages aren't covered in grease or any sort of food or anything like that. Um, we also offer our guests a kit full of light bulbs, batteries, and the specific light bulbs and batteries they would need for this rental, an extra lint roller, um, staples, scissors, and their vacuum, the, there's an Allen wrench I know can tighten up the specific chairs in here. So this little kit that not only helps our guests help themselves, but as an inspector, if I need to tighten the chair, I've got the tool that I need to do that right here. So it's all about just setting yourself up for success. I told you about my before you leave lit checklist. This is what I do right before I'm about to walk out the door and here are some things that you can add to your checklist. How's the temperature? If the guest is gonna check in, is it guest ready temperature? Are all the windows locked, especially on the first floor? Um, I always check the fridge one last time, make sure I don't leave anything in there. The vacuum, the dryer, all the is all the laundry out? All those things that you don't want a guest to see the behind the scenes, I make sure those are dialed in. I make sure that the exterior light is all set to guide them in, especially we get into the winter months and it gets darker earlier, can they see their way in? If there's a parking pass, if there's um, any other information the guest needs, I just make sure that the guest is ready to check in, have a great check-in experience. I promise you, this is gonna change the game for you and your business.